Welcome back guys to another episode of Nick's Tips. Today we're actually got a special guest with us, Derek Bullock, who's from uh, Camp Oven Cooking Australia. And um, we've got a rusty camp oven here. We've had a lot of comments asking about um, how to basically rejuvenate your rusty camp oven, or if you have bought a camp oven from a garage sale or campsite and it is rusty. So we're gonna show you how to actually bring this up to brand new. So Derek, okay. where do we start with here? Well listen, when you guys said you were bringing me a camp oven today to season, I didn't know what to expect. I thought I might have got a big heap of rust, but this one's actually <laughs> not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, as you can see, there's a, there's a lot of surface rust in here that needs to go. Yep. If we don't get rid of that, eventually it's going to uh, eat into the metal and damage it. There's a, some rust on the outside, you can see that quite clearly there. Yep. But if you have a look on the inside, it, it's not too bad. It's, it's been well used, it's, um, it's, there's very little, in fact, I don't even think there's any rust inside. Oh, that's good. So it'll come up really good. Nice. Now, over the years, I've looked at lots of different ways to season camp ovens. Um, in the years gone by, we used to season them in the fire. Um, we'd just throw them in the fire and let them burn off, let them season. So old school style, basically, oh, yeah. have, on your camp yeah. up fire. Yep. I read an article, um, it came out of America about seasoning at high heat. And I thought, now that, that's a possibility in that, to so, um, get a high heat. And the way I thought of doing it was inside a barbecue, the, the hooded barbecue. Oh, ingenious. So um, that's how I do them now. Um, there's a, a good section on my website about okay. that on the Aussie Camp Oven Cook website. Yep. But first, we've got to get rid of that rust. You can't season over the top of the rust, otherwise it'll come through again. Now, with the Camp oven like that because it's not too bad. I got a bucket of hot water, soapy water here, yep. and I've got a couple of these stainless steel scourers. Okay, and they'll take that off pretty easy. Um, it won't take long. Um, so we need to get into that, and we'll get all that cleaned up. All right. Then we'll oil it, and we'll put it in the uh, in the barbecue and season it up. And cool. I reckon that's going to come up yep. pretty good. That one. All right. I'll give you a hand with a bit of cleaning. Okay. Well, I'll do the lid. Okay. You want to attack the outside of yeah, that? Of I don't think we need to do too much on the inside at all. It's pretty good. So just a, yeah. a light clean on the inside. Yeah. Yep. Let's put that over there. Yep. Just um, and that's actually uh, that's coming off pretty well there. That'll probably take us a little while. It might take longer than I thought. So um, we'll be back shortly, and we'll have all this scrubbed up and uh, ready to go. Back soon, guys. Okay. Okay. Well, as you can see, this camp oven's come up quite well. We've we've given it a good scrub with hot soapy water with those um, stainless steel scourers. Got all that surface rust off there, all the surface rust off the sides. Yeah, it's coming nice and clean. Oh, yeah, it's 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 pretty good. This one, not a bad camp oven at all. Now, what we need to do now is put a light coat of oil all over it. Now, I always use a rag to put the oil on. You can use paper towel, but sometimes the paper towel little bits will come off and they'll stick and um, they'll burn into the seasoning and it won't give a nice, a smoother a pattern as what it would without it. And we need to oil it inside and out, just a little bit, and uh, it just needs a very, and I can't emphasize it more, it needs a very, very thin coat on, just a light coating. So don't overdo it with the oil. No, so. not at all. Because what, what can happen is the oil, I'll, you'll see when we season it, I'll do it upside down. You, you'll probably notice hardly any oil on there. It's just a very, very, very light coat to cover all the metal parts. Just do the whole thing. So um, you've you've got some olive oil here. Yes. Of course, the so um, you can use other types of oils. Any, any vegetable oil. So vegetable um, oils. A lot of people use a flaxseed oil, which is yep. a very high melt point, and that's also very good. Um, I eat olive oil. So I season the camp ovens in olive oil and I, I think that comes out pretty good. I've never had a problem with it. Um, people talk about camp ovens going rancid. I have never had that problem with olive oil. Yeah. And um, you can see, you'll see just a very, very thin coat of oil going on that camp oven mm. all the way around. Now they say not to use um, any like butters or lards. And well, um, what, why, why is that? We have a lot of questions well, that will come up, so. As, as you know, um, butter and, and lard will go rancid if it's not kept in the fridge. Yeah. And I, it'll do the same on a camp oven. Yeah. Um, people, some people use beef fat in their, um, their seasoning and, and do it quite well. But um, I think the risk of, of a rancid oven is just not worth it because mm. 
I have smelled a rancid camp oven before. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you, it's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, when you do your cleaning as well, when you have cleaned your camp oven, I'll, I will remind, we did do this on a table. It's um, out of the way. If you are going to do it, try not to do it in your kitchen because I'm sure your <laughs> missus is going to hate you for it if you do do it. So um, yeah, you definitely don't want to be in the doghouse. So. And the other thing I forgot to mention before, to get the rust off, do what you've got to do. If it means a, a, a wire brush or an electric drill or, or even a, an angle grinder to get the deep parts out, get it out. You need, you need to get that rust completely off. If the, otherwise it'll pit and eventually it will eat into your camp oven. And so um, basically when you do clean it, just make sure like, it has to be clean. Yep. So I clean guess, you know, can. if you do need that extra force, um, you, you can use that, can't you? Yep. Oops. Oops. Catch. As you can see, they're just a nice light coat over everything, even the handle. Now we, um, what I'll do is, now that we're finished here, we'll uh, we'll put the camp oven in the uh, in the barbecue, in the hooded barbecue, yep. um, on high heat, about um, 270 degrees. Okay, so and, so basically, um, have you your burners up extremely what it, what high? It, what it does is it it actually burns the oil onto the surface and makes it like a patina and a really good camp up of one season is really like a teflon cool. and um i'll show you later we've got a lot you can see there's camp ovens everywhere yeah. around here i'll yeah. show you one of mine that's well seasoned we'll drip water over it and you'll see it'll just run off okay just like um just like uh, a teflon iron all right so there you go that's all nicely nice oiled and uh Ready for the barbecue. Ready for the This is my uh, hooded barbecue. Yep. It's um, got a really good hood on it so I can get some big camp ovens in there and it's pretty good. Um, we've got that preheating now. It's heading up over 200 degrees already. Yeah, so, Jesus, um, does get hot. We'll just whack the camp oven in there now. What I like to do, I put the camp oven upside down yep. so that if there is a little bit too much oil in there, it won't all go down and pool on the bottom. Ah, like a so okay. any yep. excess oil will run out. and. I always stick the camp oven on the top, on the top like that. Okay. Bring the lid down. That'll go back up now and we'll get that up as high as we can. Yep. And um, in half an hour we'll have a look and you'll probably see a totally different camp oven. All right. Um, this camp oven I imagine will need to be done twice. It'll need to cool off and then be put back in. I'll put a, another coat of oil on it. So do, do a couple, do, of, do coats a couple to... of times. Until you yep. get it nice and black. And uh, But I think this might just one because it's not too bad this game. We picked up a pretty good pretty yeah, one, I think. Not too bad at all. <laughs> so uh, we'll come back shortly. Alright. Well, Nick, it's been in there for um, around about 40 minutes now. Yeah. So we'll just um, lift the lid and have a look. Yeah. Right, look at that. Wow. As you can see, that's come up really black. The, um, the oil has dried off, baked in, top and bottom, looking really good. Um, that, that's um, enough for that camp oven. We don't need to do that a second time. What, what we'll do now is we'll just let it cool off in there um, to store it, put a light coat of oil over it, and um, it'll be as good as gold. Yep. So, so time, mate, the, the old rusty camp oven you bought me is going to go home looking like a new one. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think I'd say thank you very much. <laughs> there we go, free season. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Doing your uh, seasoning in a barbecue. And, uh, Check out the next videos coming up shortly. All right guys, take care.